this initialization part right what is the next thing we have to go for the processing right to go for the processing okay so in a processing state what we have to do we have to do the repetitive task right after the login whatever things are there that will be a repetitive task right so if you want to do any repetitive task right what do we, do we use normally any guess or any idea okay so we are we will use the loop right we will use the loop so what is a loop basically right the loop is basically uh, like it will iterate right based on it will iterate the steps based on the input okay or based on the condition right suppose if you have any condition like this has to be done for four times five times right so it based on the condition it will iterate four times five times or whatever is the thing right similar way uh, if you have any condition like it should do for four times five times right so it will do based on that right so here also we have to use a loop so basically the loop will be used to iterate the same steps based on the input or based on the condition right so we are having three types of loops okay why okay this is why and second is the do why while and do why okay while do while and the last one is a for each row okay for each row or we can say for each right so we are having these three loops okay so if you go to the while while and do while are very similar just a minor difference right you can see it is asking condition what do you mean by condition like uh, how many records or if you want to give any condition like we have to complete till this condition is true right so if the condition is true then only it will go to the body and it will perform that right so suppose if you have the condition like it should run two times so it should go here it will run this two time based on this condition if the condition is false it will come out from the loop right same thing with do while as well but what do while will do it will first execute the step at least once okay it will execute the steps at least once and then it will check the condition so if the condition is true then only it will perform the action or otherwise it will not perform but what about for each it will ask the number of inputs or data table or any as i said number of inputs may be more than one value and accordingly it will work on those values one by one okay so here there is no question about condition here we have to do the or we have to use the condition right so we have only three loops in case we are not aware about loops or something that's perfectly fine it, it it doesn't matter okay so if you see here right now which loop we can use can anyone tell me just by seeing or whatever we have discussed so far which loop we have to use we have to use a for each right because here we don't have any condition here we are having number of inputs or data table can you see this data table right here there is no option to give any condition or there or data table right so simply we'll use this for each row in a data table so it will iterate each and every row one by one okay it will iterate each and every row or each and every record one by one and accordingly we can do our repetitive task, okay so if you have any confusion which loop we have to use right very simple you can go ahead and use this loop here. okay so now here we have to give the variable which variable where input data but it is not coming here right so any idea why it is not coming here even though it is already available into the unit go to the unit uh, sorry raja so we can go here, right can you see the scope what is the scope of this init means 
it can be accessible only in it okay it will not be accessible anywhere outside the unit so we have to increase the scope okay scope means the boundaries in between it can be accessible right so i will go to this i will mention this as a flow chart okay so within a flow chart it can be accessible anywhere so go back processing step right and i will give can you see now it end after that this is current row i will just mention row okay for each row okay so where input data will have whole input here like this okay but if you see the row right row will not pass all the input at a time it will pass a row by row this row then this row, then this row. and then okay so we have to go row by correct now what is the next thing we have to do here we have to give the option number 1 and click on the book right so as we talk initially for every screen we have to use this use application browser so take this use application browser indicate indicate the window so this is my window or screen right this screen. within this screen what i want to do i want to type what i want to type option 1 type it take this indicate where you want to type i want to type it here okay confirm now we have to click right so you just click where you want to click i want to click here right it will take the select confirm okay so we were talking about the select right so again we'll talk one more thing or very general thing so that we can understand it more clearly okay so for example if we are meeting any human first time okay we are meeting any person basically first time so what will happen our brain will capture the unique properties of that person okay unique property correct so what do you mean by unique properties and common properties so our brain will not capture the common properties common properties means two hand two legs right two eyes right it will not capture so whatever brain will capture the brain will capture the unique property such as body structure height weight or any other things basically okay so similar way our tool will also do right when it's capturing the select now we have completed this use application this is for option it will take the screen name as okay now the next thing right what is the next thing once we give the option one and click on the go we have to enter this data on a new order screen. so again for new order screen we have to use use application browser okay so indicate right this is my wait i am going to indicate. it has it now we have to type right so we have to type into the four fields so I, I, what i will do i will take the four type in 1 2 3 and 4 okay four type so will indicate where want to type right so indicate so i want to type it here product right i will indicate. so we are selecting okay then then next is number equal go here select confirm right next one is a unit point and request to everyone please see what it is selecting what do you mean by this uh, different different attributes so you can see it's taking text unit price right it means it is identifying a unique right and then we'll go to the next cost 
okay so you can see cos sin okay now we have to enter the value here we haven't given any input here so how to give the input right so in this row right as we talk it having all the information product code number required unit price and cost sign right so what i will do i will give the row okay but the row having all the four data or the four values right but here we have to enter only product code right so copy the header right product code go here open close bracket double quotes product code dot two right so why we are giving this format because here we have to enter only product that is the reason we are giving the reference row right it having all the values from there i want to take product code dot two right similar way whatever the fields are available we have to do row open this packet double quotes right make sure to copy paste because in case column name is incorrect right it will give the error number is five dot two okay similar way go ahead do it for unit price row open this packet double quotes right uh so we was talking about right like how we are entering that specific value into that respective field right so suppose this is unit price right so how will mention row row having all the four values open close bracket double quotes right and will enter the okay so now what is the last thing once we enter all this value we have to click on the submit on right so i will just click on the submit right and confirm okay so clear till this point or any question any doubt like why we are giving this format okay or how this format is coming so koi koi doubt hoga to aap puch clear everyone manisha pratik sapren okay fine so can you build you you are close till this point but do not run okay do not run. okay 